there are a couple of issues that people have been having when working with terrain. One of them is that when they try to create a hole or dig into the terrain, uh, they're not able to do that. And the other issue is that when they try to apply a brush, they're not able to do that also. So we'll deal with those two issues here. So first of all, I'll go ahead and create a terrain. I'll go into my hierarchy, right mouse click, 3D objects, and scroll down to terrain. And I'll double click on it so you can see it's been created there. To get into focus, zoom in on it. All right, so I have my terrain. And one of the things you want to do before we get started is to, um, I'm going to go to my settings. And I don't need to work with such a large terrain and uh, terrain width and length. And I'm going to go ahead and change that here to 50 instead of 500. And instead of 600 to 60. Okay. And double click on it again. Zoom in on it. All right. Um, so, as I was saying before, one of the things is in working with the train is that when you're creating your train, you may want to create like a lake bed or something of that nature or, or a crater or something. So, what normally you would do is hold down the shift key and then it would create that I'm holding on the shift key right now and I'm trying not to create that crater or hole and it's not doing it but as you can see I can level off what I did before right? but again I'm not able to create that hole what needs to happen is that you need to flatten the terrain and you should do that before you create your peaks or you, st you know you start creating your mountain range and so on because and then when you flatten it, obviously flattens the whole terrain. So uh, let me show you how to do that. So to do that, I'm going to go to this particular tool, which is the paint terrain, uh, paint height tool. And you'll see down at the bottom here where it says height. Uh, you need to type in a number to flatten it out. Now, if you remember back over here in my settings, I change that to 60, right? So I don't want to choose, I don't want to flatten out more than 60. So 30 seems like a decent uh, number to uh, choose. So then I'll click flatten. And, and you'll notice it has flattened it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I'll go back to to raise and lower my terrain. So I'll uh, make make sure my settings here are set to so I can raise it. Make, make the brush size a little bigger here. No big deal in terms of raising my terrain. Now I will try to lower it. So I'm going to hold on the shift key. And notice now I can lower my train. All right. Okay. So that's one issue uh, that we've uh, been able to resolve. Now, the next one that I see a lot of times happening is that when you try to apply a brush on, or, or basically when you try to apply the, uh, the brush on it or paint on it, that uh, you're not able to do so. So uh, let me load the environment package. So I'm going to go to assets, right mouse click, import package, environment, and make sure everything is uh, clicked, selected, import. Okay, so the package has been loaded. You'll notice that there's my env environment package. Uh, you have the waters, trees, and so on. 
All right, so now I'm going to go to my brush or, or the paint texture to paint texture on it. All right, so now I will paint the texture. So I need to go to this icon here, this paintbrush icon to paint the texture. And now that I've loaded my environment, environment package, I'll go to edit texture, add texture, and then click select. And you start off with the grass. Just gonna type it in right here. We'll use the grass hill albedo. All right, so I'll select it here and then click add. Notice it adds it. No problem so far. All right. So now I will add another texture. Add texture. I could have done this all of them at the same time, but I'm going to sh just show you one by one. So we'll do the sand. All right, so now I want to change my brush to add the sand pattern type on uh, to paint that on the, into my terrain. Zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to click on that, select this, and notice we're able to add the sand texture. Now, keep in mind what happens sometimes though is that you'll try to go through the same process but it won't allow you to add that. It won't allow you to be able to change it. So um, what sometimes works, most of the time that works, is actually just changing the layout. Uh, it seems kind of weird, but it does work. And so to do that, you're gonna go to Window and Layouts and just choose any other type of layout, say Wide and then change it back to you know whatever um, you were working on, which is uh, the default. And you should be able to select the brush and then be able to paint on it. But as you can see, this was working fine. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but if it does happen to you, remember to do that.